What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk, man. And you know, this is a crazy time. Just this whole corona situation, God niggas shook. I mean, it's going bad, man. It's going crazy. People afraid to go outside, right? Even in Poland. Check this out. I paid my rent, all right? And I sent the money to somebody that I know to pay it for me. The only situation is my manager is so shook. She don't want to, I mean, the, the, the woman that manages my apartment complex, the one that rents me the place, she doesn't even want to come outside to get the money, all right? Now, you know when people are too afraid to come get the money, they are shook. So that's where we at right now. But you know what, speaking of which, we're gonna go all the way to the back to the States talking about Angela Simmons. And we all know about Angela Simmons, right? She's the daughter of Reverend Run. She then was kind of known for being on the, I, I forgot what the hell this show was, growing up hip hop. She was on there with my man Romeo, who is the son of Master P. Now, I don't know if you remember this, Romeo was trying to holler at her, right? And you know, Angela, she was like, g give me the dating music, y'all. You know, oh my God, well, Romeo, he's like a brother to me. He's just a friend and you know, we're just being a friend and I'm not really interested in him all like that. That's how that was rock. So my man Romeo was like, cool, do your thing. Now, she then ends up with this brother, Sutton Tennyson. Sutton Tennyson was the ultimate Pookie and Ray Ray. All right, my man was always involved in some bullshit, so much so that he actually got shot and killed in a home invasion robbery. All right, this happened in Atlanta, and you know, this is right, you know, it's after they called off their engagement. But she did have a baby now, she was talking about she was a virgin until she was 26, and she waited all that time to get with a Pookie and Ray Ray. And you guys know, I do not like Pookies and Ray Rays like such. Let me kind of fast forward to one of my favorite sites that we love to troll here in the black manosphere. Madame Noir. And Madame Noir is always talking shit about black men and always, you know, forgetting to mention the unaccountability of women. You know, that's what they do. They cry all day. They forget all the problems that, you know, these sisters cause upon themselves while blaming black men for everything. And today, they, a few days ago, they had this article that says, Angela Simmons pray for single parents like herself during COVID-19 isolation. Let's read the first paragraph. Sad music. Angela Simmons is tired, like many parents presently. She is staying indoors with her child, tending to his needs 24 seven and 10, trying to keep him free from coronavirus. Unlike people though, she's doing that all alone. And the 32 year old mom is B. She shared a photo of herself and son Sutton on Thursday. They were in the car together while she has a big adorable smile on his face. While he has a big adorable smile on his face, her face lets you know immediately how she's feeling on. And she wrote, mom is tired. Pray for single parents, motherhood on a trillion day by day. Here we go with the pity pose. Can we get a aww oh, sound effect? Aww. Oh. You know, and let me kind of get back to this. You know, here we go with let's feel sorry for her. And you know, some of these people, like people in the 32 year old comments gave her support from, I see your sacrifice to Toya Johnson tell her, you got this. But see, what we don't forget about is Angela Simmons didn't want to get with a good brother that would be in the child's life. What she did was she went and got a baby by Pookie and Ray Ray. And when Pookie and Ray Ray got, give me the sound effects to shot up. When that happened to him, and no disrespect to the brother, I'm just using an example. Now you want somebody to feel sorry for you. Oh, you're raising the kid all by yourself. Please pray for a single parent. What was you praying to God that Pookie and Ray Ray would take your, you know, take your so-called virginity and give you the, and give you a baby out of wedlock when your dad's a preacher? You wasn't praying for that then, huh? You forgot all about Jesus. Church music. Let, let me get my Martin Luther King voice on. You forgot all about God when he had you. Ah, and them ankles from the back. Ah, you were not thinking, ah, about the Lord. You won. Thank you. 
about getting smacked on the cheeks. That's what you was thinking about. You were thinking about that, okay? That what was on your mind. And see, it's so many sisters. I did a video about this chick who's complaining about Donald Trump. Trump, you better come get these kids. You better come get these kids. You know, and then all of a sudden now y'all don't want to be accountable for your actions. And see, here's a, here's a double standard about women. You want to blame men for everything. I'm talking about these sites, all right? But you don't want to take accountability for your actions. And then you want to get praised for, oh my God, I'm raising a child by myself. Look at what I'm doing, I'm so tired. Nobody asked you to be a single mom. Nobody asked you to go get with a Pookie and Ray Ray. You're good looking, you had, your parents worked hard. <clears throat> and this is what I'm talking about, right? Your parents work hard to put you in a better place. A better place. Do you know how many families, white or black, wish they had Reverend Run as a father? Your parents worked hard, did the right things, so that their child, AKA you, Angela Simmons, would make the right decision and get a man that would bring honor to the family. Not a man that would mess around and get himself knocked off, all right? But you couldn't do that, no. So do you wanna get all these people to be feeling sorry for you for your mistake? You get no sympathy from me. And it's a shame because that's a nice, you know, that's probably gonna be a young man that's not gonna be able to know, damn, where's my daddy at? How was my daddy? You know, and then you had the nerve to get mad at Romeo wanting him to come in and demand that he be stepdaddy when you didn't want him at first. You see what I'm saying? And then that's a problem. Now during the whole pandemic, y'all want people to like respect what you're doing, which is normal stuff. Like, you know, people like Angela Simmons, they want respect for doing normal shit. Like, okay, it's only you in the world that has problems. Only you are tired. Nobody else is tired, just you. You know, only you have things going on right now. Only you. What about the brothers that are out there working right now? Essential workers. Brothers, good brothers like Cornelius Edwards out of Memphis. Good brothers like Pharaoh Edmondson out of Atlanta. Driving these damn trucks day in and day out so y'all can get the food. What about all of our good brothers who are on the medical system? The good brothers that are out there uh, and the sisters too. Gotta give shout outs to it. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna keep it real. Sisters, some of them is out there doing the work too. The army, the military, the police force, all of them people. Are they not tired, Angela Simmons? Huh? Are they not tired? What about the people at YouTube? Shout out to YouTube. The people who work at the electric companies, the people who are doing everything. I seen restaurants, swear to, I swear to goodness. There's a restaurant that I go to here in Uganda. Uh, not a restaurant, but um, a supermarket. They stay overnight sleeping at the restaurant so they can't go home and see their family so they can serve food to the general public. Are they not tired? Is it just you? Are you the only person that's tired? Mom, here we go. She got emotional while talking about the struggle of trying to explain to where her father is, father is. Look at that right there. And I'm so tired of this. Stop asking for a pity. Pray for me. No, you made a mistake. And now so many people are here are crying about the mistake they made because you didn't think this was gonna happen now. And I'm telling all the people that we can, if you a brother and you have daughters and you have women in your life, you better tell them don't end up like Angela Simmons because when you get 32 and now don't nobody want you, see, that's the thing. A lot of people don't want you, Angela. Remember, you were talking about going to get you a white guy, huh? Remember that? I'm gonna go date Zaddy. I'm opening it up to it. Not not when you got a black child. Zaddy ain't tripping off you. Now don't nobody want you. And now you, now you all of a sudden you wanna do that. And see, all that shit is fake. I'm sorry, fake. And it gets no love over here. Anyways, guys, it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Celebrity Junk, subscribe. Hit the bell, this your boy. As you know, the buffoon remains at an all time high. Go ahead and go to the first comment pinned to the top. Check out your black men, their perfect t-shirts. And as you know, we are out, peace.